Hi there, my name is Kevin and this is my video game room. On display are 50 TV based consoles, 2 standalone consoles, 13 handhelds, and 1900 different games. This room is designed to make gaming on original hardware as accessible as possible. Basically that means the machines are hooked up to the TV already. As you've seen, each system has a number, which tells me what buttons I need to hit in order to play it. For some of the older systems, I need to swap out a cord. This is because the signals from systems like the 2600 degrade when they pass through other devices. There are two TVs, one for the old systems and one for the newer ones. I have to adjust the positioning of the recliners depending on which TV I'm using. I've made it so that they slide across the carpet easily by putting cardboard on the bottom of them. As you've seen, the controller cords have enough length to reach the chairs. Some consoles that have hardwired cords have to be brought onto the floor in order to reach the chair. I've made sure there's extra slack in the cords that come out of the back of the systems. This setup has almost 400 cords. The wire shelving, typically used for food pantries, gives me the ability to tie the cords up, clump them together, and give me the space needed to branch them into different directions. I used a lot of velcro tape and twister seals. Signal cords coming from the back of each console go on a long journey before they reach the TV. The majority of them go through switch boxes, and many go through two switch boxes. The systems that output HDMI travel through these powered switch boxes, while others go through mechanical switch boxes. The electricity for the setup also goes on a long journey. It gets split up as it leaves the outlet. 
and then goes on to 10 rack mount power supplies. This gives me 85 individual switches to power everything, and I've almost used them all. There's a few charging stations in the setup, including one for AA batteries right here. I also have a VCR, which I use if I want to play one of the two VCR based systems that I have, although both of those systems are pretty much garbage. If I want to record footage from any of these systems, I have devices hooked up that let me do that. I also have LED lights if I want to change the mood. One of the strands of lights is giving me some issues, so that'll have to be replaced. This setup is a work in progress, and the progress never ends. A couple of the systems I just got recently and haven't been hooked up to the setup yet. There's also some technical difficulties with some of the consoles. For example, it's very hard for me to find an original Xbox that's not broken. This is my third one, the other two have failed, and this one is starting to fail. Moving away from the setup, let's go to this corner of the room by the door. This is where I have the Vetrex and Virtual Boy systems. The Vetrex can be played from the recliner. I have all the overlays hanging on the wall. If you don't know what these are, these give color to the games. The Virtual Boy has enough length on it to reach the recliner as well. To the right of the main setup is a shelf full of accessories, handheld systems and their games, and a handful of boxes. I have additional accessories in other parts of the house. Now let's take a look at this wall. As you can see, the entire wall is covered with games. I designed the shelves myself. I collect for a lot of different systems, but as you can see, there's some that I prefer more than others. In the closet, I have a dresser, with more games stored on top. In the drawers, I have other game-related things, like instruction manuals and extra handhelds. Now let's talk about the posters I have. I have them all over the room. Some are original that I got out of magazines, while others are bootlegs that I bought off eBay and Etsy.
The last thing I want to mention is there's two windows in this room. One behind the setup, and the other behind the large game shelves. Both windows are sealed up with cardboard to prevent sunshine from getting in. That's it for the tour. Have a great day, and play some games.